Possible to be this happy. Crazy. I know. Is it okay with you? What, being happy? Well, I know sometimes it scares you. Not with you. Mm. Mm. Wait a minute. What? Um, what, what are you doing? What time it is. Oh, you said there was no time on honeymoon. We're not exactly on our honeymoon, Jason. We still have a wedding to get to. Oh, no. What? What? We overslept. I mean, we really, really overslept. We have. Last night, I already get to the wedding. We're already married. Yes, but nobody knows that, and there's a whole crew of people waiting for us. Oh, we just got to let them wait. Really? Yeah. Okay. I can't believe Mrs. Yee gave me these. Oh, you gave her yours. Well, I know, but she said she bought these for her granddaughter. And they were one ben, which means the color red stands for happiness. She's right about that part. No, the color is just a symbol. The happiness comes from you. It comes from us. Yeah. I can't believe we're married. And I feel so free. Jason, I feel free. We just made a lifelong commitment to each other, and I'm like, whoa. We are free be together forever and we're also free of something else we're already married we are we're free of the wedding maxi's planning you were pretty nervous huh what are you were you nervous well kind of yeah. i still am a little bit she did work really hard so i got a good idea why don't you call her me you yes, want you. me to yes please she listens to you she doesn't listen to ah! it's her <laughs> Perfect timing. Go ahead. You tell her. Maxie? Jason? Why are you answering Sam's phone? Is everything okay? Has she been kidnapped? Oh, my God! She's fine. She's, she's here with me. You're together? On your wedding day? That's bad luck. But Maxie, well, you need to listen... I don't care where you are, if you have a flat tire, or if someone's shooting at you. You better be here in 20 minutes. Hello? Gone? This isn't gonna be easy. Okay, well, you know what we have to do. I hear you've been looking for a place to hang for a while. Everybody, um, sorry for the delay. Thank you guys for your patience. Uh, unfortunately, it seems as though the bride and groom are right here. Oh. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? And what are you wearing? Um, it's okay. Uh, Sam and I would like to thank you all for, for coming tonight. Yes, we would. And uh, we appreciate everyone for, um, for showing up, but... There's not going to be a wedding tonight. You can't do this. It took you guys forever to admit you wanted to get married. You can't just bail. No, Maxine, we're not, we're not bailing. And it took me a lot of time to get this ceremony together. I mean, you know, I might not look like it right now, Maxie, but... Maxie. Everybody, uh, the reason Sam and I can't get married tonight it's because we, uh, we already are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Jason and I took off yesterday to spend some time alone, and the opportunity presented itself, so we to just... To what? Get married without all of us there? I mean, forget about all of our plans? You guys ruined everything. Oh, oh, come on. In, in all fairness, given the state of logistical disarray, I mean, it was kind of already ruined, right? I mean... Yeah, Maxine, nothing's ruined. I mean, Jason and I are happy, blissfully happy. We just want you to be happy for us, too, that's all. Yeah, Sam and I didn't exactly uh, plan on eloping, but uh, we did it just, you know, it felt right for us, but we'd still love to share this night with you. <laughs> Hope you all know how much, how much I love Sam, and I'm gonna be by her side forever, no matter what. Yes. Uh, the same. I, I hope you all know how much I love Jason, and I am going to be by his side forever. 
most romantic wedding ever. <laughs> here, here. Oh, thanks, Mom. Here, here. <laughs> If I might, since I haven't been able to fulfill my other duties as best man, allow me to invite you to the reception, which yeah. will be held at uh, Rice Manor, which if you take a left out of the church and drive oh, no, about five... there will be no reception. <clears throat> the trailer on the caterer's truck overturned, so I hope the deer are enjoying the duck comfy tartines. Maybe we can have a reception after all. I think Jason and I must thank Mr. and Mrs. E for coming to our rescue. They allowed us to get married in their garden, and um, it was fantastic. And this is their grandson, Robert, who is a minister who performed the ceremony. Oh. So thank you. Yeah. Well done, young man. Right place, right time. Definitely say that again. Um, as you may or may not know, Jason and I are connoisseurs of Chinese food, and the Yi's are the best we have ever tasted. And there is plenty of food, beer, and soda, so eat up, drink up, and enjoy. Thank you. You know, this menu is different than what I had in mind. Actually, all of this is different than what I had in mind, but now that I see it, it's probably exactly what Jason and Sam wanted, which I would have known had I asked them. My grandmother says not to worry. You can't fight Kate. Oh. Well, thank you. Wait, are those? Hey, so happy for you. Oh. I really am. I'm really happy. I know you are. I'm going to work on the boundary thing. I may backslide a little. Hey, just because Sam and I got married doesn't mean you're losing it. I'd never let you go. Are you okay? Yeah. I think for the first time you don't have to worry about me. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry you guys had to get all dressed up. Well, I don't mind. Ah, oh, you get points for having such an unconventional wedding. I'm sorry. I brought you a mainstream gift. I didn't bring it. I totally forgot it. Uh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. I can't believe I forgot the gift. I left it at the coffee warehouse when I was talking to you. You know what? I'm going to get it. Where are you going? I'm going to go get it. Well, I can, I can get it. No, no, no. You know what? We shouldn't miss out on this great reception. We should just stay here and, you know, maybe get it later or something. Okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. What a perfect day. Honest to goodness, I wish your father could have been here. It was the best non-ceremony I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know, Alan. Would want the best for both of you. And you're wearing Lila's ring. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jason actually has Alan's ring. Monica gave it to me. I think we're going to have a ton of luck with all the love that's mixed between these two. Do you think the Yees would mind if we asked if they had some extra tables? I just want to make sure everybody has a place to sit and it's not overcrowded. I, I would be happy to approach them if you'd like. I, you shouldn't have hey, to worry about Hey, hi, sorry. Sorry to interrupt. I think everything is going great. Reception is moving along swimmingly. And I was just thinking maybe I, I could talk to you about... I told that violinist to play. I uh, wanted to thank you for coming. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. <laughs> you remember what I told you on the bridge that night when I left for Paris? That I knew you would meet someone that was absolutely perfect for you. It took a little bit longer than I thought yeah. it would, <laughs> but you absolutely did it. Well, I couldn't have loved Sam if you hadn't taught me what that meant. Well, I'll give you props. Reception is amazing. Thank you. I'll take that as a good omen. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage is, what, it's a little challenging sometimes, sometimes, right? But it's the best thing about life. And 
it just gets better all the time. Congrats. Thank you. You know what I think? I think that this day has been perfect. I think it is. Kissed my lips with my mouth so full of questions. My worry and mine, she quiet. I could hold you in my own. Yeah. 